Well, it's time to get some maple syrup. I'm here this evening tapping some trees. Uh, I had a bunch of bottles put out last night. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to tap maple trees here in Newfoundland. We don't have the best maple in Newfoundland for maple syrup, but we do have maple and you can get some wonderful maple syrup. I've been doing it for years. It's a very simple process and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So you can see here, this is after one night. I tapped this little small maple tree last night. Um, you can see that very small tree will still give you a fair amount of syrup or sap at this point. Um, I was concerned in the beginning, as most viewers probably are, that it would, this would kill the tree since it's so small. Um, but over the last few years, I've tapped trees. I don't re-tap them each year, but I've tapped trees and then gone back and checked. And I haven't had a maple tree die from this yet, so I'm pretty confident that it's not going to harm the tree. You'll see a fairly big variation in how much sap you get per tree. Uh, this tree is actually slightly bigger than the last one I showed you, and you'll see there's significant less sap overnight. What you want to start with is a two liter pop bottle. Uh, this is what I use. You could use any, any, you could use any container, um, preferably plastic so that you can cut a hole in it. Um, but it could be a juice bottle or anything you want. Uh, I just happen to have two liter pop bottles around because I enjoy a bit of pop. So what you want to do is take a pop bottle and uh, cut a hole through the side. That's so that you can slide it on over the pipe as you see here. Next you want to just take a piece of wire or string and tie it around the pop bottle. Um, and leave it like this so that you can put a hoop in the end. Uh, I happen to have a lot of this crappy rabbit wire around so I've used that. You also want to make sure to wash your bottle very well. Um, you don't want any mold or leftover uh, drink residue or anything around the top or in the bottle. Next you need a few good buckets, uh, preferably food grade bucket. Um, and you want to clean it very well. You can see this bucket is super dirty on the outside, but on the inside this bucket is super clean. You can usually get these buckets at restaurants. Um, this one is from Tim Hortons. Um, a local Tim Hortons had a few left over and I got some and they've lasted for years. And then you simply drill a hole and put the bottle on. So I'll show you a little bit more how to do that when I add some more bottles here in a minute. I'm here tapping maple trees and this is my first robin I've seen this year. If that's not good timing, I don't know what is. Okay, we're going to tap this maple tree together. It's a good idea to have another bucket with all of your tools in it. That way uh, you can, it's easy to carry down to the tree. Okay, first of all you drill the hole. I'm using a 9 16 spade bit. It's not the best drill bit, but it works. You want to take your drill and you want to angle it slightly upwards so your sap will freely flow out of the tree. Um, and I usually drill about the pretty much what you see the black on that drill bit. So I don't know an inch inch and a half deep um, And it depends on a tree I'm sure and I'm sure there's a if you want to be really specific there There's a lot of resources online about how deep to tap your trees and that sort of thing um, So I just drill the hole Okay, so now I have my hole drilled. The next thing to do would be to take a short length of pipe. You can see the sap is already running into this tree. Um, here I have a short piece of uh, PEX pipe. You can use um, copper pipe. Uh, you can even use, uh, simply just use some flexible hose. With the flexible hose, you'll have to have a different size drill bit, obviously. I prefer the hard pipe. Um, you need a hammer. You just drive the, the pipe in just far enough that it seals off the hole. Don't drive the pipe in the full distance of your hole because you want that sap to run down out of the wood and collect into the pipe. As you can see, we already have some good maple sap running here now. The next thing you want to do is nail a small nail in the tree just above the pipe. If there's a branch here, you don't have to do that. You can just hook your bottle onto a branch. But maple trees generally don't have branches um, down close to the ground like that. So just take a nail and drive it in. Apparently you can't even drive a nail on camera.
use a bottle cap you have and put a cap on the top of the bottle just to minimize debris falling in your bottle. Slide your bottle on over the pipe and measure where the hoop should be wired onto the tree. Slide it back off, form a hoop. Make sure your hole is big enough to freely go on over the nail. Slide it on and stick it on the nail and you're collecting sap. So you can see there's, you can see the sap dripping pretty quickly into the bucket. Tomorrow when I come to empty uh, this sap, there'll be a fair bit. So there's more maple trees all around. I'm gonna get busy while the evening's still young. I'm gonna tap a bunch more trees here this evening and enjoy the great outdoors. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned. While the sap is running, we're gonna be doing a lot more tapping and collecting, and eventually we're gonna to have to boil down our sap and make syrup, so stay tuned and see you back here soon.